What's up, y'all? It's Joe Master Lee here, showing you how to turn your passion into a business. And today, I wanted to watch a Mr. Beast video, his latest video where he's giving away 10,000 presents for the holiday season. And it's not just because it's a festive time of year and this is one of those feel good videos. No, I think there's actually something really interesting here for all you up and coming YouTubers and entrepreneurs to really hone in on. You see, Mr. Beast has become, well, a beast online, arguably the most fascinating person in 2019 on YouTube. And that's because, that's because he is championing a new category of YouTube that is a mix of challenges plus a giveaway. And he doesn't just do small giveaways, a couple hundred dollars here or there. He's amped it up from $10,000 to $50,000 to 100000 to now a million dollars. In fact, you can go watch our reaction to him giving away a million dollars. It was the first time Lulu has ever seen him and was just blown away by the whole spectacle of it all. Now, what I find really fascinating about Mr. Beast is that he didn't start off this way. I think it's really important as you watch this video to realize that what you see of Mr. Beast today was not where he started from. I hear a lot of things about how YouTubers today say, you know what, it's too late to get in on the game. It's too hard to come up with something new. Everything's been done. But the thing is, is that Mr. Beast didn't really start doing these kind of mega giveaways until pretty recently in the last year or two a whole new category that he's been championing here. Before that, he, well, did a lot of stuff that most YouTubers do, which is silly pranks and silly challenges. He would sit in front of the camera and count to 200,000, or he would read a whole dictionary. Things like that that are, are just so novel that you wanna go check it out. But the thing is, is that you can start to see ideas churning in him. Him constantly trying to see what gets people to watch. And for him, I think that fits his nature. He's an interesting character because unlike a lot of YouTubers, he doesn't come across as really fancy. He's not really the kind of person who likes to flaunt things. In many ways, very humble. This is actually our third time giving stuff to the shelter. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while and I'll keep you guys updated, but in 2020, I definitely want to open a, a few shelters of my own. And so I think him gravitating towards doing these kind of giveaways is a very second nature aspect to him. And from that, you might be able to come up with some other ideas, some other things that you could do that can really help your channel take off as well. All right, y'all, let's do this. What's up, guys? I have 10,000 presents, I have an army of elves, and I have a red hat, which basically means I'm Santa Claus, and I'm gonna do everything in my power to help people in need have the best Christmas ever. Ooh. So let's get started. We flew across America with 10,000 toys to help hospitals. Check. We gave a food bank thousands of meals. Check. We gave the shelter supplies to help hundreds of families. Check. We paid off people's tuition. Check. Roll the checklist up. There you go. Put it in your pocket. There we go. But instead of a sleigh, I he must have an army of people now that work for him to be able to set these kind of things up because he's cranking up videos so many times a week that there's no way it could just be this group of people doing it for him. It's, it's got to be a team of people that is quite a bit bigger. I got a private jet for our 10,000 toys. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm so glad we got rid of the sleigh. This is so much faster. We have a private jet with 10,000 toys. I'm going to drop you each off at a different location with thousands of toys. You're going to give them all away. time to help homeless shelters and food banks. Yeah! It's currently 20 degrees outside, so homeless shelters need a lot of blankets. Guys, you know the deal. I want all of them. All right, elves, now we need some jackets. And formation. So we need a lot more food, so I want a pallet of that. Pallet of, of apples. Pallet of, apple. uh, of green beans. Pallet of green beans. Uh, not Oreos. Not Oreos. Great. That should be good. And one of the last things they needed was diapers. And we did it. All the presents are gone. Yeah, look at the difference. It's all gone. Guys, you should feel good about yourself. We helped hundreds, maybe even like a thousand wow. people today who genuinely needed help. Yay. Awesome sauce. We just did a lot of good things today, and we impacted a lot of lives and I'm very happy with how this video went. I feel like this is one of those end of year videos where he's trying to top everything he's done before by incorporating all his different ideas into one video. So now what's interesting is that there's a lot of copycat YouTubers out there now who are trying to do something similar to Mr. Beast. And they're generally the big YouTubers, the one that actually pull in a good amount of money themselves. And that's fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with copycatting as long as you add your own personal take to it. But there's one thing I think these YouTubers need to realize, which is one, Mr. Beast does this in a way where 
He's not thinking about the finances, which is actually not a really great idea. You know, something to keep in mind. He has readily admit that he spends so much money that he sometimes wonder if he's going to end up with anything that's left over. Let's make a quick pit stop at a college to pay some tuition. We're currently on a college campus and we're going to pay some tuition. Dude, I've cried here a lot. Hello there, sir. So I'm going to ask you a question. If you answer it right in three seconds, I'll give you money. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Doesn't matter. Who was our 23rd president? I don't care. You want money? <laughs> here you go. Here's a semester of tuition. Are you serious? Yep. And here is 13 cents. And a lot of these YouTubers are looking to do this for the money. So in other words, they're trying to think about the dynamic between expenses and money generated. So like a Mr. Beast video that generates 20 million views, which is about how many views he gets for some of his more popular videos, he is not gonna be able to recoup giving away a million dollars. Now he's doing a bunch of other stuff like sponsorships, and he does a lot of plugs in his videos to help make up for the difference. But for him, that margin of profit is really inconsequential to him, for good or bad which means that if other YouTubers try to copy it, they're not gonna be able to copy it for long. Let's do this. So you probably think we've given away enough. Wrong. We're going to Best Buy and giving away more. So Chris, how many PlayStations do we want? Eight more. And now we're gonna celebrate the holidays by just giving PlayStations to random people. Hey, you guys want some PlayStations? PlayStations? Yeah. Yeah. You want a PlayStation? I would love a PlayStation. Are you? Yeah. Just form a line. Here, form a line. Yeah. Since you guys were so nice, we want to give all the employees working here $500 just for fun. Wow. <laughs> here's five hundred dollars. <laughs> Not to bother you. Here's five hundred dollars. Oh. <laughs> Here, can you just pay for everyone's donuts? Hey, Merry Christmas, y'all. Thank you. Now, if you're a smaller YouTuber, you're trying to think of, well, I can't really copy Mr. Beast's formula here, but I want to do something similar. This is where an interesting opportunity can come along, right? Don't think of it as giving away cash, but you can do things like giving away your time. You can think of it as giving away some of your skills, some of your other things that you can do. When you start to help other people, when you start to do things for other people, it becomes one of those things on YouTube that people love and they want to share and they want to watch. I'll give you three examples here, right? Let's say you do cover songs. So you've been singing for a long time and you're trying to figure out how to take your channel to the next level. Well, how about writing your own little ditty, writing your own little song for somebody, one of your fans, getting your fans to interact with you, submit their ideas, have them submit elements about their life, people that they love, and for you to come up with a fun little ditty just for them. And I've seen a couple of YouTubers do something similar like this, like Jacob Dancing Collier, you should go check him out. And he's been able to break free from the average singer who sings cover songs on YouTube by doing something like this. His videos go viral. Another idea, let's say you're an artist. I've seen a lot of artists who do speed drawings of things and they'll draw popular characters like Batman, right? Or their favorite anime character. And there's a lot of artists that do that. So it's now actually very difficult to stand out from that. This is one of the things where you can also do something that's charitable as well. In other words, create a piece of art for, let's say a kid in need, right? Let's say a kid has a dream to create his own superhero. Contact one of these charities up, work out a scenario where you can help a kid and try to figure out what is it that this kid wants as a superhero and create that for them. And that becomes a really fascinating video and it becomes a story that you can tell. And I think that's really key when you're on YouTube today. If you watch this Mr. Beast video, you can tell he's not just giving stuff away, but he's looking for an interesting angle in terms of what the story is. And my third example is actually something that I'm gonna to take to heart from this channel in 2020, which is you can give away advice. So I started this channel due to an inspiration of wanting to help other fellow creators, in particular those who really wanna be able to turn their passion into a business. So it just started off simple enough where I created a bunch of videos, sitting in front of the camera and sharing knowledge that I've accumulated over the years. Now, the thing is with something like this, why it's very helpful is missing the other half the element that I'm talking about here, which is how do you envelop this into a story? How do you make this much more intimate so that people who are watching feel like you're telling a story as well? So for me, I wanna do more things where I not only give advice, but I wanna work with other creators as well to be able to take ideas through to implementation. And this could be other things like interviewing other creators and working with other creators, or as an example, showcasing talent like Mr. Beast here 
and analyzing what's working and what's not working. So helping these other creators reach a whole new audience, be able to talk about things in a very different way. Mr. Beast ultimately is about entertainment. He's not talking about how he's making the videos. He's not talking about how he thinks of this as a business. And what I can do is help share knowledge about what he's doing here so that you can walk away with some ideas of your own and do something that's helpful as well. All right, I hope this is useful. A bit of a different approach that, like I said, is gonna kick off something new that I wanna be doing in 2020. And I'm looking forward to it because ultimately, to really take off on YouTube, you really have to constantly evolve and try new things, just like Mr. Beast did. I started up a couple of channels now in 2019 and every one of them has evolved. And the ones that have done really well, I've doubled down on. I have a channel that has about 50,000 subscribers, which I've built up over the last six months. And this channel here, which is absolutely brand new, has a couple thousand subscribers, and it's changed course now two times in the last year or so, trying different things to see what's worked. And again, I'm gonna evolve that further here, taking this idea of being able to create how-to videos and making them a lot more fun. All right, y'all. I hope you have a great holiday season and this might be the last video I make for 2019 and I will see you in 2020. Peace out.